Which generator is best? It's a loaded question, isn't it? It's a big decision, it's a big chunk of change. I'm going to sum up what I know about this topic in a few simple sentences. First of all, you want to buy a quiet generator. If you've ever been around one of those horrible, nasty, loud generators, and those of you who have them, you know who you are. I know they're cheaper, but this may be one of those situations in which it makes sense to fork out a little extra cash and get a higher quality unit because you're going to have a much more pleasant camping experience and everyone else in the campground will have a much more pleasant camping experience. So amongst the inverter generators, you have some different options. Some people choose to get a couple of smaller units. What's the advantage of having smaller units? Well, for one thing, they're lighter and easier for one person to carry. Other people choose to get the larger units. Now the benefit of the larger units is of course they generate more power. The downside is they're very heavy. Of course you're going to have to ask yourself where am I going to put this generator? In our case because our RV is a towable unit and we're using a pickup truck, we've got the bed of our pickup. We pretty much keep our generator in the bed of our pickup truck at all times. Locked and chained down, I might add. Time and again, I was referred to two choices, a Honda and a Yamaha. I'm sure there are other choices out there. If there are, please chime in in the comments section and let us know. They're about the same size, they're about the same weight, they're even about the same model number. Of course, the 3000 references the amount of power these things kick out. Both the Honda and the Yamaha cost right around $1,700. The Yamaha costs about a hundred bucks more than the Honda. We chose the Yamaha because A, it's blue and matches our awning. Sorry, it's true folks. B, the Yamaha has an inverter boost technology which provides a spike in power for a 10 to 15 second period of time which can come in handy when, for example, you're starting an air conditioning unit. I'm not really advocating one brand over the other. I know many people who've had very good experiences with the Honda. We've had a very good experience with our Yamaha. Which generator is best? You tell me. Chime in, post some comments, let us know. If your generator sounds like a cross between a defective lawnmower, a sick moose, and a wailing banshee, you might consider changing brands.